All right guys, it's been a while since I've had a mod or a build watch on the channel. So I'm gonna have two of them at once here. So what we have here are a couple of full on Namoki builds. These are all parts were sourced from Namoki. There's one exception with this, but uh, that can be better explained probably in Pete over at Chillin' with Watches video. I'll put a link to his video in the description because he's the one that actually constructed these. So and he did a great video explaining that, and I want you to just go ahead and and uh, watch that video too. You know, whether you pause this one and jump over to that one or do whatever you want there, but um, check it out. It's in the description below. Definitely check his video out. But also, big thanks to Namoki. It's been a long time ago. I've noticed even looking at their website now that they've added a ton of products since I worked with them even to send over these ones here. So uh, big thanks to Namoki for sending th the complete parts list for these two builds right here. Um, they've been awesome to work with from day one when they first started launching. I mean, really, they had some bezel inserts, <clears throat> excuse me, and a few other miscellaneous products. Now you look at their website and they have everything you need, including the tools for the most part, to build a complete watch. So pretty cool uh, the way they've grown and um, the products they've been able to offer at, at really good prices. So, and we'll talk about that in a moment, but let's uh, talk about these builds real first, real quick first. Um, both these were spec'd out by a couple of really good buddies of mine. This one here was spec'd out by my buddy Dirk, who has a uh, primarily knife channel. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. And then the gold one is uh, from my buddy Michael or Desire68 Frogman. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. So once I'm done with this video, these watches will be headed off to them. So what we have here, basically, both of them are three o'clock cases. They're essentially SKX cases if you look at them. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but they're basically Seiko SKX cases with the crown positioned at the three o'clock rather than the approximate four o'clock position. So most of the measurements are identical to an SKX with the exception of the thickness because we've added um, double dome sapphire crystal. So you're looking at a 42 and a half millimeter case by 45.7 lug to lug. These do have drilled lugs. This one overall thickness is 16.5 millimeter. So it's really thick, but that's partly because of a, a, a thicker case back and the double dome sapphire crystal and everything so it adds a lot of thickness to it um let's see the oh for reference the uh, skx is about 13 and a half so this is like three millimeter thicker but like i said that's mostly the uh, sapphire crystal in the case back seven millimeter crown 22 millimeter lug width this one is outfitted well both of them are outfitted but uh, essentially the same stuff 120 click bezel action superior um, action on this and everything lines up of course because Pete built it that way so and uh, I don't know I could run through the list but really well maybe we'll do it on the iPad real quick just to kind of show you what we're looking at here but I mean every single component of this is from Namoki um, the only thing that is you know not like aftermarket I guess would be the Seiko NH36 uh, movement um, which is you know a Seiko movement but um, that's the only like Seiko part left on this thing so excellent wine in case you miss that the pop on these crowns and stem assembly is like perfect so Pete nailed that too but if we um, hack this and rotate forward you'll see we have the uh, also the Kenji uh, day wheel on this so so you have your English and then you have the characters and then the, the blue for Saturday and the red for Sunday is still there too so Awesome job on that. The crown works great, screws down great. Like I said, nice pop to it. It's a signed crown. And this one has the uh, second time zone bezel insert, full ceramic, but kind of stealthed out. And then the gold one has uh, like a blacked out Yacht Master style. And then this one has the gold Marine Master style handset on it. Excellent bezel action. Same signed crown. This one came with a display case back. So you can, there's a bunch of different case backs you can choose from as well. So um, let me pop both these on wrist real quick so you can get a look at that. 
uh, strap wise you I mean you have a ton of different options but I put this one on the I think this was what is this the crown and buckle chevron strap so I thought it was just gonna wear nice and pair up nice with it I think it does I mean primarily I got the strap for the Tudor Black Bay but it would definitely work on some of these SKX type builds I think it wears great and then on the gold one or Michael's build I paired it up with the Strap Mill Canada vulcanized rubber strap and I think again that's a really good match for it and it's affordable you know you could go with a fitted strap but honestly I, I'm totally fine with that right there especially with this gold case it leaves a little bit more reveal I kind of dig the uh, Strap Mill Canada straight end link on this one that's pretty much what I would wear it on right there unless you were going to go with a full gold bracelet but sometimes those don't match as good too so uh, let's do some close-ups real quick and then I want to run through the parts list on the um, iPad so you can see really nice applied indices nice printing and then yeah there's a lot of dust on this I apologize for that but nice coin edge bezel there's a bunch of different bezel options but just an overall really clean, well-built watch with well-built parts. So what would you expect, right? Uh, I'm not sure if there is another dial option yet with gold, whereas this one has like the silver indices. That would be kind of cool. Uh, maybe we'll look at it here in a second, but let's check it out real quick on the iPad. Let's zoom back out. And you can go to their website right here. I'll put a link to the Namoki website. I actually have this titanium case on order. So as soon as that comes in, I will do a video on that. But you can go to, you know, bezels, um, and then you select which style you're going to use. Um, you know, there's, and this, so the S and the dollar sign, and then the price, that's uh, what, Singapore currency. So I think they're a roughly, um, 20 what is it like 25 cents higher than the US dollar does that make sense I forget what the multiply or the exchange rate is basically like 75 cents to one or something so it'll it'll convert to US currency when you uh, go to check out with your PayPal or whatever like that but you can see all those options there are tons of different options I would still like to see that one there the uh, chunky one there's smooth bezels pretty much anything you can possibly think of you're gonna be able to build or mod your current watch they even have some other like orient stuff but you know a lot of us are just building these skx style ones but you can see there they have full loomed bezels i mean it's just it goes on and on sapphire crystals you have now you have before they didn't really have a ton of options for the um crystals and now they have more options for the crystals so when i was originally doing some of these Namoki builds they basically just had the one um, crystal but now you have a ton of different handsets and like um, and Dirk's here you know he's got the red seconds hand so you can you know you can put a different seconds hand you can like go a la carte right here like you can do different combos whatever you want to do so you have tons of options there uh, crowns chapter rings dials uh, let's look at the dials real quick because I know they added some, like they added that like ghost out dial. That one's really cool. And what else? Oh, they kind of got, that one there has a little bit of vintage look to a little bit of gold. So maybe that would work really good with that gold MM handset. Oh yeah, they do have, they have gilt dial. See, they added way more dials since I did this first build. Oh yeah, right there. That would be perfect. I would like to see that dial with the uh, gold MM hands. That one's perfect. So they, they're just constantly adding and upgrading and everything. They even have tools. Check this out. Um, let's see, tools and miscellaneous parts. So there's your movement. There's the bezel opener. They have the 35. They have the fat spring bars. They have Radico. And, like, legit decent prices, too. Hand setting tools, protectors, spring bar tools, uh, hand remover, uh, cushion. I mean, they even have the Ber Bergion 6767. So, like I said, they have all the tools. They have everything you need. They have a few bracelets, they have different cases. So here's the different cases, you know, different coatings. You can go polish, satin, three o'clock, four o'clock, titanium. I'm excited to get that one and build that. They have the samurai style cases, gold cases. So you have a ton of options here, guys. And occasionally they will do a modded watch section and these sell out instantly. 
Yeah, see that one's already sold out. So they'll pop those up. I don't know when or why or how they do those, but occasionally they'll pop those up. And at 388, which you know roughly translates to basically them assembling a watch for free. Because I think if you add up the parts for this, even with their like 20% discounts, because they'll package things when you like buy a case, you know, they'll knock off like 20% if you add this, this, and this. So once you get all those discounts in there, you're probably gonna be around you know, somewhere between three and 350 range. Um, but then you got to build it. But I think with their pricing here, when they do these special limited edition uh, assembled watches, you're basically paying for just the parts and getting free assembly. So something to look out for. I don't know how to, you know, I don't know when they're going to do that, but it's cool that they do it. So check them out, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next vid. Oh, wait, we better do a loom shot. Let me... uh let me kill this iPad and then we'll Jeez, you guys would you guys would be mad at me if I didn't do a loom shot. Check out the loom. Here we go. So plenty bright enough. I mean it's not like well I didn't really charge it. It's it's Seiko bright. I don't know. And and that's something they'll probably always be enhancing if they're not already there. But it definitely looks like it's at least a C3 loom. That's pretty good. I like it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next vid.